What's going on, guys? It's your boy Project Ice, and I bring you another episode. Uh, don't worry about, it. don't worry about it. a Pokemon Alabaster. Uh, don't worry about why I was laughing. Uh, last time we left off, we w w got to Route 302, um, past the daycare center, um, battled some trainers. We're continuing from there. This place is my secret hideout. You're not invited. See dots. Glad you didn't use Bide. I don't even think you have Tackle or anything like that. You only have Bide, Harden, Growth, and something else. I don't. I don't know if you get a fourth move. Oh my goodness! Uh, eva evacuate, evasive maneuvers. I need to get out of here. You're not the only one who can roll. Ah, you conquered my hideout. Isn't my opponent the coolest? It took me two months to finally catch one. One day I want to conquer a whole region while riding Ponyta. Uh, let me check something. Does Whimsicott evolve by evolution? Uh, or by stone? Dual Grass Fairy Pokemon introduced in Generation 5. Prior to Dragulation 6, it was pure grass type. It evolves from cottony when exposed to a sunstone. That's what I thought. Okay. The tree? Oh no, something on the left side. Match, so I can't go that way. Can't get that item from here. Ah, there we go. Didn't know I could go behind this. <laughs> Didn't know I could get behind it like that. I swear if you go for Sun Swear, I'm gonna be very upset. Got a crit on me.
Over the winter, it closes its bud and endures the cold. In spring, the bud opens and releases pollen. Let's see, who should I name you after? Let's see... Uh, list of names... I'll name you Kentio. Sunkern. I think Sunflora deserves an evolution. Oh, okay. There we go. A tiny mushroom. Ah, yellow shard. Nice. Wait, there's an item? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll have to get it after I get cut then. I've been playing this game for a while, so I'm saving now. I would hate to lose my progress after coming this far. Seeking of which? The badge on the other side of town is closed thanks to construction, and the south road is blocked off courtesy of Team Celestial. I guess if you want to get across the river, you're just out of luck. Many young trainers come to Taikan to begin their Pokemon League challenge. The gym leader pet has a calm personality but bold ambitions. He's a terrifying foe for those who face him. I consider myself a collector of sorts. I don't care to sta share with strangers what I collect, but I can appreciate other people who are dedicated to expanding their own collections. Oh, is that a Pokedex? Fantastic! I've never met anyone with a Pokedex before. Surely then you must be a collector yourself, and you're a lady collector of a ton of Pokemon. Hold on, I have to give you such a wonderful p p person something. Here, take this. Ooh, nice! Take that as a Pokemon I appreciate. You don't see something like a Pokedex every day. I hope you never lose your love for it collecting. It really is a gift in and of itself. Notice. Members of Team Celestial and Team Tectonic are very dangerous and should be avoided for your safety. If you see any suspicious individuals, be refrained from initiating confrontation and report the individual to the proper authorities. With all the attacks and chaos from Team Celestial and Team Tectonic, even normally common items have been in short supply. It's surprisingly hard to even get your hands on a super potion these days. Anyone who can go to anyone can go to the store and buy Pokeballs and potions, but I hear that there are rare items that are only sold to trainers with badges. A 
Hello, I don't think I've seen your face around here before. Where are you from? Sundu Town? I don't think I've ever heard of it. Is it not on the map? That's Squirrel City, Fortel Town, Nimgale Beach, Balmirage Town, Tai Kane, Nieho Academy, Deepwood. Oh wow, it's all the way over here. My goodness, no wonder he's never heard of it. It's in the edge of the Nieho region. Items have been in such low supply lately. You can't even get a repel without the gym badge. And if your Pokemon have a burn, well, you know, that's just too bad. I'll hold off for now. Ah, we've upgraded from Chanseys to Blessies. Good day to you, trainer. You know, you'll find a many, good, many a good day here in Taikin City. And all the times I've visited this town, I can't say I remember it raining once, nor have I ever found it uncomfortably warm. The people who live here don't think much of it, but, but I'd call it one of its, the great mysteries of the region. Do you know how to use a PC? Oh, what am I saying? All kids know how to use a computer these days. Heck, I'm sure you could teach me a thing or two. Duh! I think this is the longest road in the region where you can go straight and not turn at all. I bet if your Pokemon used Rollout on this road, it would last for 10 turns. I can see that look in your eyes. You want to teach your Pokemon to move like that, don't you? It would be a non-stop wrecking ball. You might even be able to beat Vigilant Leader Pits. I'll tell you what, I'll teach you this move to a Pokemon for you for only $2,000. Interested? Okay. What's this? Welcome to the Triad Card Shop. What? Have you never played tri Trouble Triad before? Well, you've come to the right place. Here, let me get you started. We give anyone who is looking to begin for the first time a starter pack, pack free of charge. Please take this. There are ten random cards in the starter pack. You need five to play a game of Trouble Triad, so keep that in mind. You can find out more if you go next door. I'm sure they'll be happy to talk to you. Triple Triad has been gaining popularity lately. The stakes can be real high when the best play each other. Hey there, have you come to challenge the Taikin City Triple Triad Club? You have no idea why you're here, do you? That's okay, I'll explain all you need to know. Triple Triad is a card game in which is played on a 3x3 grid. To start off, each player picks 5 cards from their own deck. Then a person who starts first is decided at random by a coin flip or something like that, I guess. From there you just take turns putting cards in an unoccupied space until the board is flipped. Now, each card has a Pokemon in it and four numbers that correlate to the Pokemon's strengths. When a card is placed so that its side is touching with another card, the two sides are compared. If the number on the card you place is higher, then you capture that card. Whoever has control of the most cards at the end of the game wins. Now, as for the club, we are one of the five tri triad tri clubs throughout all the region. Each of us plays up by slightly different rules, although you don't need to worry about that here. We keep it simple. If you manage to be the leader in a best of three setup, you get an honorary badge and other neat prizes. Our leader isn't here right now, but if you manage to be all of us, we'll call for her. Hmm. Oh good, it looks like you already have some cards. You could talk to anyone here. I'm sure anyone would be eager to battle. Let's give it a shot. Uh, 
Let's see. Skip loom card. Ah, I lost. Let's see. That would be good for the top left corner. A good solid one. Top right corner. Let's see. A three and a four. My, my. Monferno card. Ooh, nice. That's a solid one. Ah, man. That's a good bottom, bottom right card. Good center. Good top, top left card. Another one. Let's see. Um, 
That's a top left. This is a top right. This is a bottom right. A good center. Let's see. I can't believe you actually managed to, uh... Let's see... My goodness! Three sixes, okay, uh... Shoot. Shoot, that's a bad start. Wow, this, this girl is ruthless. She has some nice cards. Okay, um, I lost. Oh, Swablu is a top left. But, uh, I already have a Beldum. Let's get Oddish. Let's see. Shoot. Should have used Beldum. Yeah, yes, he's far fetched. Let's see. You have a four. I'll take that. A six. Let's see. Either one of these is fine. Ooh, nice Nidor in the card. Can't beat you yet. <laughs> that girl, <laughs> little girl, strong. What you got? I already, I already have a Larvesta, don't I? Oh, but I can sell cards too, can't I? Okay. Let's uh, explore the rest of this city, shall we? I'll battle that girl later. <laughs> I'm dizzy. There's a monster in the well. Not really, though. We're just playing. Most of the time, no one ever bothers to empty the trash bin. When the smell gets bad enough, people complain it, and then it usually gets dumped. <laughs> I guess I should have seen that coming. But I think there's going to be a wild Pokemon in there some, at some point. Ah, I need to get to Squall, but they have the entire road cut off. This is a waste of my time. I have places to be. I can't be stuck in a boring place like this forever. If you go west from here to the edge of the town, you'll get to a river. My favorite fishing spots are east of that, past the jurisdiction, oh, just a junction up the river. 
there's some good spots to the north as well, but wherever you go, you'll need a good fishing rod, or better yet, a super rod. Unfortunately, your old rod won't get you much, but, st but still better than nothing, I'd say. Oh, you came from Yeho Academy? I went there too. Ted and I were classmates. But he used to be so reckless back then. But he really has taken responsibility for this town. A couple of years ago, this was basically a ghost town, but Pitt came here and started up a gym and then, then that triple triad card shop down the road. Then we have lots of re renovations lately, like the bridge right now. It's really amazing how much has changed once you think about it. Pitt gets lots of challenges because he's one of the newest student leaders, and people think they can get an easy win against him. What most of them don't know is that he has, he's one of the uh, highest win percentages among juniors. You would definitely lose to Pitt too. I bet you think I'm wrong. That's what all trainers think, though. You know what? That the city could. You know what this could. You know what this city could use? A city beautification committee. I hate to be blunt, blunt, but this place isn't very pretty. I was about to say, why are you just looking through a window? Oh, right. This. <laughs> Can I, like, see my what kind of cards I have? Because I'd like to sell some of the cards that I probably... probably won't be beneficial to me. Oh, you can check the Eevees and Ivies. Okay. Oh, so that's how you get to the Pokemon Gym. Let's explore the rest of this area. Oh, hello. Okay, name raider. Good to know. You can tell there's a difference in strength between the trainers under Pitt's wings and the trainers you find in Route 301 to 302. Pitt is a good mentor. Hey, if you're planning a challenge to do your stream, you're going to need this. You get to keep that if you can beat the gym leader. Make sure you don't lose it, or you need to buy another one to get in. Can't go that way. This is blocked off. What do you think you're doing here, doing back here, kid? Don't you know this area's off limits? Well, since you're back here, you may as well put yourself to good use. These guys have gotten complacent. They've really been dragging their feet these last few days. Give these suckers a good battle for me, will you? That ought to whip them back in the form. The new bridge is under construction. When it is done, you'll be able to travel to the cities west of the river, no problem. Man. All this working shit has made me hungry. Let's have a battle so I can get my mind off the food. Ooh. I think I found the perfect place for next to train. Ooh. 
much up. That drops speed, if I remember correctly. Yep. Wait a minute. Wasn't I supposed to, like... Oh, Seismic Toss. Oh, no, oh, never mind. I th that must have been the last video I did. Wow, Pokemon battles, hard work. I'm still hungry. Alright, uh, we'll save the game right here, guys. And I will see you guys in the next episode.